Tom, what's going on? Doing a radio show here, Dan. That's a great show, man. I love it. Sometimes you just piss me off that I just want to turn you off and I just... But you can't. What's the first thing you think of when you see a hot chick? Banging her. You have a vagina problem. Yeah, I don't get enough of them and too many of them have a mouth. Would you like to see your son in action? It would be interesting, I think, but it wouldn't blow my skirt up, Tom. You wear a skirt, do you, Gary? <laughs> <laughs> the figure is <laughs> I hope you won't hang up on me because I got a mouth for you. I might. That's what you usually do to people that really speak their minds out and let you know. No, I love people who speak their mind. Uh, people who are idiots. That's why I get upset. At I had this guy on my high school wrestling team. You wouldn't believe it. He had lobster claws for both hands. Oh, lobster claws. And you kept wanting to, to dip them into drawn butter, right? Oh, man, it was awful. I bet he gets near a hot tub. He gets nervous. <laughs> Probably so. <laughs> put a rubber band over those things. That's right. Put a rubber band on those hands. That's right. We're not here to fix America. That's not my job. Baptizing your listeners with wrong... I'm an atheist. I'm not baptizing anything. The stations that succeed put hot chicks up. It's that simple. Who cares about the news? You want the news? Go to the Internet. Read a paper. It, it gets boring after a while, though, doesn't it? Looking at hot chicks... Well, there's tons right, of what are you, a homo? What, what, when does it get boring looking at a hot chick? Are you gay? What if one day one of these girls are just so hot and attractive mm. and you say, Jimmy, baby, and she bites your uh, off? Uh, first of all, we can't put that word on the air. Oh, wait, how about No, not even that. Oh, God. You're not, not in that context. No, haven't you read the papers lately, darling? I listen to KF. Well, we don't, we're don't. we not putting that on the air either. We don't put any obscenity on the air. Wasn't Air America the uh, code name the CIA used in Vietnam when they were running guns and drugs covertly to help fund their part of the war? Well, yes. Why would liberals support a liberal radio network named that? That's like having a Jewish radio network named Hitler's Happy Hour. I'm dating a guy. He's actually been to India. Has he ever been to Eagle, Colorado? I don't know. <laughs> Just check it. But I told him that Is I was Is his uniform dating... number between 7 and 9? Oh, you are trying to get me to say somebody who is not. <laughs> and I can definitely say not Toby. As I always say, I compare women to uh, bathrooms, okay? Because women are human toilets after all. Don't call me a toilet, Tom. I'm not a toilet. Sperm receptacle? No. Big one. No. Why are there so many strip clubs in Portland? Everybody we talk to, everybody wants to take us to a strip club. I honestly think the answer can only be because we need a suitable alternative to the women walking the streets. <laughs> I knew that was going to be the answer. Well, you can only see so many uh, short cropped bangs and black horn rimmed glasses in a day before you got to look at something different. <laughs> From Portland, Oregon, it's Flash Friday. Tom Likas wants to sign your tatas. And now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. A different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. We're in Portland, Oregon, for God's sake. We are here at Barracuda, and here it is, quitting time on the West Coast. Look at this huge goddamn crowd. Huge! We got people looking in the window. They got me. Everybody wants to be inside. You know that? Everybody wants to be in here. I can't believe how many chicks showed up today. I can't believe the talent here today. It's truly amazing. I completely love it. Anyway, uh, it's our first uh, visit to Portland in four and a half years. Would you guys like us to come back more often? 
All right. Uh, we will. We will. Uh, we're just having a blast here, having a good time, meeting some old friends we haven't seen in a long time. And uh, I want to tell you that uh, this is, of course, Flash Friday. And that may, it's been Flash Friday in this place uh, on steroids, for God's sake. But uh, on the freeways, highways, expressways, parkways, boulevards, parking lots, whatever, people are turning their headlights on, and then uh, the ladies are showing what they've got. Now, if you see a nice set of knockers out there on the freeway, hey, you just call us here and report where those knockers are. You can call us here at 1-800-5800-TOM and let us know where you got flashed today. 1-800-5800-866. And, of course, on Friday, it's uh, wide open telephones on the Tom Likert Show. And we can talk about anything that's on your mind, anything at all. It can be anything we discussed on the air this week, anything you think we should have talked about on the air. You can call up, yell, scream, complain, jump up and down. It's all fair game long as you're absolutely fascinating. If you're not, DJ D'Amelio, our screener, and Friday, our bouncer, will kick your ass the hell off the phone. It's that simple. Uh, here's our toll-free telephone number. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Now, we had a long break at uh, the top of the hour, because uh, you heard uh, at the top of the hour we play that montage of stuff that happened during the rest of the week. We had a little anomaly, like everybody hung up at the same time. At the same goddamn time, everybody hung up. So if you've been trying to get in today, this is your one and only chance if you dial now. Right now. Okay? Right now. But uh, by the time I finish this sentence, every line will be full. 1-800-5800-TOM is the number. 1-800-5800-866. All right, Flash Friday, we will come back with uh, some more signings, some more ass crackings. And, uh, of course, your telephone calls don't go anywhere. Some like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I haven't been listening for very long, and I understand Fridays are Flash Fridays. So I just flash anybody. Anybody who has their headlights off. Oh, they have to have their headlights right. off. Right. You look for the guys with their headlights off. I it's a reward for their being loyal listeners to the show. Oh, beautiful. It's Flash Friday on the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. And uh, before I go on, we have a little headphone issue here, and I can't hear anything. So, uh, I need... All right. Anyway, 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. And uh, the cheering is because a woman came up on stage and uh, showed her breasts. What is your name? What your name? Chris. Chris. Yes, from yesterday. Chris. Chris, who I, I thought her picture was photoshopped, and it wasn't. This is Chris. Superimposed, but I am not. Well, you're too good to be true. At least that's a compliment, you know. Thank you very much, Tom. Uh, have you ever shown your breasts to a big crowd of men like this? It's all good. Uh, look at this. And by the way, she's still showing them. She's still showing them. Show these guys over here. Unbelievable. All right. And, uh, I, you know, some women just like want to give you a little quick, a little quick, little peek. Attention, whore. Oh yes. And uh, how many shots have you had today? I, have you been boozing? What now? Are you boozing? Absolutely, absolutely. It's, it's, it's Miller time, baby. They taste less filling. Miller. Woo! She's doing commercials and everything. Look at this. <laughs> well, did you uh, want me to sign your rack, or did you just want to show it to everybody in the room? Go ahead, sign them. All right, I'm going to sign them. I'm going to sign them. What is your cup size, by the way, dear? What now? Your cup size, what is it? Uh, C, baby. C, okay. 36C. 36C. Well, I'm going to sign these babies right now. Chris, show the crowd. Oh, there goes Chris. Chris is a blonde. 
36 C's. Show them to the crowd. Very nice, dear. Thank you so much. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Oh, the benefits of this gig, boy. I'll tell you what. And you're welcome for the pictures yesterday. Oh, thank you so much. But we'll have to show you that third picture you didn't know you sent. She thought she only sent two. I'm not kidding. It was a third one in there. <laughs> All right, let's go to your calls here. 1 800 5 800 Tom is our telephone number. Let's say hi here to um, Mike on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Mike. Hey, what's up, Tom? How are you doing? Nah, I'm doing okay here, Mike. I'm having a good time with my boys. Look at my boys. How's everybody doing in Portland? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You should, Mike, you should be here. I'm telling you. There is, there is talent in this room. I'm not kidding. There's talent in this room. Yeah, I bet it is, bro. Believe me. I was at the pick and whistle. I can only imagine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> let me tell you, you were at the pig and whistle. This is three times as big as the pig and whistle in Hollywood. Three times as big. Are you serious? Big. Yes, I am. Uh Oh, man. <laughs> there's, and there's two levels here. There's actually a second level. And you got people looking up from, uh, they're looking down from upstairs. Are you serious, though? Yes. yes, it's huge. <laughs> this place is huge. Yeah, that's the greatest, man. Well, I hope everybody has a good time out there. But, you know, I'm, call I'm calling to let you know some bad news, man. What's the matter there, Mike? Well, the bitch I used to be with for uh, close to six years. Basically, uh, you know that best friend thing? Yes. Well, she's, she's now pregnant by uh, her so-called best friend. Oh, her best friend who happened to be a guy. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, and not to mention, he's my neighbor. We grew up together. Oh, isn't that nice? So it was holes, yeah. holes before bros. Look at that. Now, <laughs> now, now Mike, I want reenact this for me. I know it's painful, but tell us how you found out that her best friend, who, who you grew up with, had knocked her up. How did you find out? Well, you know what? It's funny because I was, I, you know, I live, I don't, I don't live at home anymore with my mom. So I, I live away in L.A. So basically I came home, you know, to my mom's house one day, and um, they told me, you know, you know when you're pregnant by such a such. And I said, oh, really? But let me, let me tell you, because I talked to her, let me tell you the story. She tells me that, um... She was talking to a co-worker at her job, and uh, basically, I guess they must have did something, and he ended up going back to his wife, right? Yeah. And um, she was kind of heartbroken, so guess who was there to soothe her pain? Of course, the best friend! <laughs> oh, yes, he came right in and soothed her pain. Uh, yeah, yeah, and you know what? I, I really, I knew he always wanted her. Yeah, I knew he always wanted her, but yeah. you know, I never really tripped on it. Yeah, I never knew it was going to go down like that. But I really don't even care because that's his problem now. <laughs> believe me, well, it I, ain't all pieces. It ain't all pieces of cream, Tom. Uh, believe uh, me. Uh, yeah, he's going to find out the hard way. And, and your story reminds me of something that happened to me. I'm going to tell you, okay? Uh -huh. Because the person I'm talking about will probably sue me, so I'm not going to give too many details of who the person is, but okay. one of my okay. exes, one of my exes used to tell me all the time about how somebody I knew was always hitting on her uh -huh. and wanted her and uh -huh. wanted her and wanted her and was slipping his slipper, business card and all that. This guy was married, and he kept working on my chick, okay? Uh -huh. And ultimately... I put this chick in the recycle bin. Oh, okay. And this guy picked her out of the recycle bin and started doing her. But you see, again, uh -huh. I keep saying this. Every time a guy picks something out of the recycle bin, one of us stuck it in there for a reason. Exactly. We, put exactly. the, we put the junk out at the curbside, and somebody comes and goes through our trash. Hey, and I don't mind nobody going through my trash. It's trash. That's right. And that's exactly what happened here. You know what a bitch she is. You know how hard she is to live with, what a pain in the ass she is. You know oh, yeah. how much you hate this goddamn bitch. 
And now this guy has not only got her, he's got to have her evil progeny. He's got to have a baby with her, and he's going to owe her money for the next 18 years. 18 years, baby. Yes. Exactly. Yes. And all I got to say is, all you men out there, and she's sitting up here trying to tell you that, oh, he's just my friend. You kick her ass. You kick her ass out that day. And when a chick tells you that a straight man is your best friend, you say, hey, him or me, baby, and then go. Just go. Kick her out. Done. Finished. Exactly. Over. Exactly. Over. Exactly. That's right. Believe me, I know I got burnt once. It'll never happen again. All right, Mike. I'm very proud of you. You're coming through the hey, Tom, Yes. C could you take me out with uh, a classic Kobe Bryant style and a... Uh, huh? <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here for you, Mike. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. This is so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. This is so special to me. Oh. 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 <laughs> 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Russ on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. You're the doctor, man. Thank you. Long time listener, first time caller. Thank you so much. Hey, Tom, I've been listening to you for like 15 years now. Anyways, I just called to see if did that Russian broad, did she ever show up, the one that called yesterday? Yes. Is she there? Uh, she was here earlier. She may still be here. Was she as hot as she said? I want to tell you something. That chick was a Portland 10. Wow. No doubt about it. And I, did you get a sign of wreck? No, I did not sign her wreck. I did not. All right. Hey, Tom, take me out old school, man. All right, Russ, here you go. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Ernie on the Tom like his show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Ernie from Encino, baby. All right, Ernie. What's going on? I uh, wish I could be there with you, bro. You should be here. We're having a blast here. I know. I love, I love those people up in Portland. Oh, and they're, and, and they're boozing and cruising here today, baby. Oh, man, I'm drunk. I'm drunk with love for you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what can uh, I do you for you, Ernie? You did a show last week on, on uh, uh, people in windows undressing and uh, looking at people in windows. Yes. Now, how, I want to ask you a question. I want to see what you feel about this. How fair is this? If a woman walks by a window and sees a guy in the window naked, she calls the cop, he gets busted for indecent exposure. If a man walks by a window and sees a woman in the window, he gets busted for being a peeping Tom. What do you think about that? Well, it just goes along with what we always say. Women have all the options. Women can do whatever they want. Women, yeah. for example, if you, uh, if you tell a chick in the office that you'd like to do her, if she's attracted to you, nothing will happen. If she's not attracted to you, she can get you busted for sexual harassment. True. I mean, what is that True. all about? But that, 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 not, that, not that, fair. That, not of, fair. Of course it's not fair, Ernie. You're absolutely right. So thank you for the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. We're in Portland, Portland, Oregon at Barracuda. And uh, the girls are still coming in, baby. Come on down. The Tom Likas Show. I've talked to Tom before. What? I said, I think that's pretty f***ing rude for you to just hang up when I've talked to Tom before. What the f*** does that mean? What the f*** does that mean? What yeah. What does it sound like? I'm confused, dude. I hang up on 400 people a day. Who the hell are you? You're f***ing rude, you know? Thank you. It's the Tom Likas Show. From Portland at one 800 800 tom Now... We are standing here, if you're listening to our show live, we are standing here at 5.35 in the afternoon, Pacific Time, in Portland, Oregon. These guys are boozing. The booze is kicking in. Are you boys uh, juice now? Yes, you are. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, what is your name? Alyssa. Alyssa. Where do you live, Alyssa? Excuse me? Where do you live? Beaverton. Beaverton. You know, we said yesterday, I've never seen a ton of it, but uh, that's beside the point. Okay, so uh, you have, uh, are you collecting these dollar bills from men, or did you uh, wear these adornments? 
They've been giving them to me out in the audience. Really? And have you been giving them anything in return? Oh, yeah. Oh, they get, they get, they get a peek and then you, they pay you? Is that the deal? Look at this. A quick little peeks. Yeah. Well, these are not little peeks. Those are big peeks. I mean... You get a big peek. Oh, I want to get a big peek. All right, well, uh, if you're ready to show, I'm ready to look. You want me to sign these? Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to do it. Let's get a look. Let's see if she's going to unleash the fury right now. Here they come. Oh, yes. Look at these babies. What is your cup size? 36D. 36D. Show the boys. I just signed those knockers. Take a look, boys. Take a look. Get the guys on this side. Don't leave these men out over here. Everybody gets a look. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. There we go. Love it. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. And uh, we got all these calls here. Uh, Jaime, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's going on, Tom? Just have a little party here, Jaime. Man, I'm uh, I'm here in Dallas, man. First, long time listener, first time caller, and uh, just want to know when you're going to come down and make it this way. Well, I'm telling you, Jaime, I have uh, had the conversation with the program director in Dallas, Gavin Spittle, and uh, I think we're going to be there in September this year, September. Man, I'm excited. I'm totally stoked. I'd love to, to come out to one of your events. Sounds like you guys are having a great time out there in Portland. Uh, let me ask the guys here in Portland. When we get to Dallas, would you recommend this guy go to one of our parties? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, that sounds fun. I wish I was there. Oh, believe me. For more reasons than you know, because only half the action's on the year. We have got a, 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 a talent pool down here next to the stage of women. It's, it's been amazing. I have seen more flesh today. You wouldn't believe it. Uh, man, we got some honeys out here in Texas. You, you should come down and check it out. Well, I've been to Dallas many, many times. Uh, the chicks are hot. And, uh, For sure. We're looking forward to it. We really are. Awesome, Tom. Take me out with a bong hit. Here it comes, Jaime. <laughs> One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Wide open telephones on the Tom Likas show. Missy on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Missy. Isn't it always fair to say that unless your girlfriend's a virgin, then she's probably been recycled? Absolutely. And, and in fact, it's always a good idea to find out why the previous owner put her out in the trash bin. It's always Correct. a good idea to find that out. Correct. Uh, I, I mean, it's just unfair to say that we're all recycled because we, I mean, yes, we are, but like I said, unless you're a virgin, then you're going to be recycled. Well, you and said, that should be okay for you guys. Oh, dear. Uh, again, you're, you're, you're doing what so many people do. You call up, you have one sentence of material, and then you keep repeating it. Uh, uh, let's have a conversation rather than repeating the same material over and over, okay? Uh, okay. For the most part, Tom, I'm on your side. Okay. Um, I'm not the typical female. Yes. Um, so for the most part, I agree with the things that you say. Yeah. Um, every once in a while, though, I think you're a little bit off base, or you're just well, a little bit unfair to us. Yeah. You don't think it's unreasonable to expect that uh, it would be a good idea to find out why somebody put uh, a chick out in the recycle bin? Well, I think that's a good reason, regardless if it's, a, if it's your girlfriend or if it's your boyfriend. Yeah, but like, for example, the guy who called in, who had a uh, wife whose best friend was a straight man and the straight man knocked up his uh, this guy's wife Th didn't this guy like wonder uh, like what was wrong with this chick what were the problems why and, and, and by the way she cheats on her husband wouldn't that be something to look at <laughs> well yes but bottom line is i mean that's what guys are out there for it doesn't matter if they're married or not that's human nature for guys yeah well yeah i know it's human nature for guys but you see not all chicks give in to that i mean a chick who lets her quote unquote best friend knock her up while she's married to somebody else that is somebody to be avoided in fact, if I'm the guy who knocked, even if I'm the guy who got it and knocked her up, I would, I just dump her ass. I wouldn't, I wouldn't keep her around. That slut, that whore, I wouldn't keep her around. I'd kick well, her yeah, ass out. They, 
they were only in it for one thing anyway. And once they got what they wanted, they could be oh, done no. with it. She was in it for more because she let herself get pregnant and had a baby. She... No, she was, but he wasn't. He was in it for one thing. Yeah, but the point is, he's still with her. You see, if it were me, if I did something like that guy and the chick ended up getting pregnant and having my baby, even though she'd have me by the balls and I'd have to write her a check every month, I'd kick her ass out, that whore, bitch, slut. I'd kick her out. I would not, well, yeah, I would not have a relationship with that slut because she'll be having sex with her next best friend. Well, I agree. I mean, she got what she well, deserved. Well, then you're understanding my point. This, this chick is in the recycle bin for a reason. And that, 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 that guy should have paid attention to the fact that uh, uh, there were problems in that marriage. There were probably reasons there were problems in that marriage. I agree. So instead, you know, and all, a, and all you boys, all you gone. boys who use the, the pussy method of trying to get chicks by listening to them tell you their problems, you ought to pay attention to their problems. You know why? Because soon they'll become your problems. The minute you have sex with her, they're going to be your problems. So well, those guys aren't interested in their problems anyway. They're just doing that to get a peek. We're, that's all we're ever in it for. What, are you kidding me? <laughs> Missy. Well, you know, we would sometimes like to believe that there were some good guys out there, even though the reality of it is they're all in it for one reason. Now, well, uh, did you just, here, I see on the screen here you're 38 years old. Did you just figure that out? Um... Uh, no, I didn't just figure it out. I'm just very cynical. I, oh, we want. I spend my days in the men's world, so needless to say, so you know, I'm being here at all. when we take you out on a date, we're not. We don't care what you're saying. In fact, all we exactly. see, all we see, is your lips moving. Exactly. And we're trying to see your other lips moving. <laughs> That's really all we yes, care about. But that is still wrong. We Even don't hear a, reality, we, don't, it's not we right. don't hear a word you say until we've had you. Ever. Well, and then after that, you don't hear a word. How you many, say because think you about it, Missy. How many first dates have you gone on? How many? Um, not a whole lot. All right. Well, what? You got married to the first guy you went out with? Well, no, but I've just never been one to date around. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, every time you're on a first date and you sat there at a restaurant having a conversation with a guy, how does it feel knowing that those guys never heard a single word you ever said? Oh, well, I live in the real world. I know that they don't. Oh, so you know that. So, I mean, how do you even go on a date knowing that it's just going to be meaningless conversation that the guy's paying no attention to at all? At all. Um... Well, because I'm fortunate blah, enough blah, that blah, I blah, don't blah, date blah, frequently. Blah, 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 that's okay, because most of the women are only sitting there thinking about, I wonder how big his bank account is. Yeah, well, believe me, we know they're thinking that, but those of us who are smart, we think ahead. A, make her think we have a big bank account. B, don't spend any of it on her. <laughs> yeah, but we all know that we're sitting on a gold mine. Uh, dear, uh, here's the deal. You, you girls all think that that little uh, gold mine is so valuable and unique, when in reality, half the world has one. If, yes, if, half if, the world if, you, don't, has if you don't give it up to us, there's somebody down the block who will. Oh, there's not a down the Somebody mind else that. will always do the heavy lifting, dear. You understand that? Yeah, you, uh, you know, you girls really amaze me. You know why you amaze me? Because you say things like, I, you know what? I don't think it's, I don't think it's the right time for us to have sex. I don't want to, I, I, I don't want to move too fast. And, and, and you girls think that like we're sitting there hanging in suspense, waiting for you to give it up to us. When in reality, the minute your car door closes and we kick your ass out of the car and say, well, good night. It was so nice seeing you. Oh uh, yeah, we should go out again sometime. Maybe a movie or maybe a glass of white wine. Uh huh. The minute that car door slams, we pick up the cell phone and call the chick who's going to give us what you won't give us. Exactly. Unless it's a guy that likes a challenge, and then they're going to keep coming back just because they want to prove that they're going to win it. 
Well, again, uh, you just remember, we don't, un until we, uh, here's the deal. It's not that we never do. Clearly, people get married and have relationships and love each other at some point in time. But when we first right. meet you, when we first meet you, we don't give a rat's ass about you. At oh, all. Hell no. It's all about the boobs and what you look like. In fact, we hope what we want is you give us what we want and then you will go away. <laughs> you know what we always say around the Tom Likas show? The perfect woman is a woman who, uh, after your effort, she turns into a six-pack and a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe y'all say back is the ones, are the ones that don't go away. The ones that y'all get stuck with for the rest of your life. Oh, and dear, there is no rest of our lives anymore. What, are you kidding me? Uh, one out of two marriages ends in divorce. And, in fact, under in younger age groups, it's like two out of three. Like, there is no rest of your life till death do us part. Baloney. Baloney. Oh, no, but there is something to be said that if you have children with them, then yes, you somewhat have to deal with them for probably no, the rest of your you life. You have to deal with them, but you don't have to live with them. You don't have to listen to them. You don't have to hang out with them. You don't have to have sex with them. You just have to send them a goddamn check. You're right. That's all. So, in one way or another, y'all wind up paying for them. We all want what? In one way or another, you want that pay for it. Well, in one way or another. And that's why boys should never, ever. I always say, never subscribe to a magazine. Just pick up a magazine on the newsstand once in a while. Instead of being stuck with two years of popular mag popular mechanics or popular science, one week you read TV Guide, another week you read Maxim, another week you read FHF. Hang oh, on. I agree with you. Hang on a second. On that. Hang on a second, Missy. Suzanne, why did you want to say to Missy here? Hey, Missy, you need to shut the f up. You are so out of line. You sit here saying that you agree with Tom and you understand where he's coming from, but you can't shut up. Get off the phone. There are better people for him to talk to. Men just want to get laid, and if you're not going to give it up, then get off the phone, bitch. Obviously, you need to. What? Uh, you can't say that. Did you boys say hear what you just said? I to say. Uh, you can say it, but we're going to bleep it out. You can't say that on the air. Well, I'm sorry. I get really upset when stupid chicks are talking like that to you because she obviously has no idea how this whole world works. You know what? Women are here to make men happy. And, yeah, I'm going to give it up whenever I need to to make my man happy because that's what I'm here for. And whenever he wants it, he has got it, man. And I'm a hot chick, and I understand that. But, you know... That's our job, and his job is to make me happy, too, but it is my job first to be there whenever he wants me. All right, that's, I, that's all the time we have. Missy and Suzanne, thank you. At 1-800-5800-TOM. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. Here we are together again on the radio. And uh, we're in Portland and Barracuda having a good time here. Tammy, on the town like a show. Hello. Hey, Tom. This is Mika, I mean, Tammy from Los Angeles, California, and I was just wanted to say I've been to your show for the longest, and ever since I listened to your show and I listen to everything you say, it's got me more, guys, more game, and because I get up, hey, do my thing, and I shake, and you know, they <laughs> all we want you to do is shut up and do us. Right, and that's exactly, but you know what? The sad thing about it is when I turn into that, they end up calling me off the chain. Really? Oh, yes. I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> oh, Tammy. Tammy, how did I not meet you before? Huh? I do. I do everything you say. I think you give us the best game. If women don't listen to the men, then therefore they're going to be messed up. Listen, are you, are you hot? Oh, yeah. I'm 23. Yeah? What do you look like? I'm... Well, I'm dark skinned and I got long hair. But uh, this is in my community. I mean, they just run after me. Look at you. Well, Tammy, <laughs> I'm so proud to have you as a listener. You keep listening, baby. Tom Like It. 1 800 5 800. Tom. My wife is trying to egg me into buying her some leather pants. <laughs> 
she wants other men to look at her ass the way you do. Right. Why would you want to make it easier for them to enjoy your wife's ass? Exactly. That's it by her damn moo moo. The Tom Likey Show. <laughs> Tom Likey Show coming here from Barracuda in downtown Portland. The boys are having some fun out there doing some cruising. And ladies, if you're on the way home from work, come on down to Barracuda. We're going to be here for at least another hour. 1 800 5800 Tom is our telephone number. It's wide open telephone for the Tom Likey Show. 1 800 5800 866. Portland, Oregon, Barracuda. We're having a blast here. The Tom Likey Show.